from BSc in Bon E of Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology, and this is Physics for Engineers 1. So for this video, we're going to talk about acceleration. Acceleration is defined as a change in velocity over change in time, meaning when velocity changes, either it increases or decreases, acceleration happens. Acceleration is also a one-dimensional vector and it is represented by the SI units meters per second squared. Because velocity is meter per second and time is second, so what we're gonna have is meters per second squared. Now let's move forward to our sample problem. An airplane has an average acceleration of 2.19 meter per second squared during the takeoff. If the airplane starts at rest, how much time does it take for it to reach a speed of 174 miles per hour? So the first thing that we need to do is to identify our given values. In this sample problem, our initial velocity is equivalent to zero because it says that the airplane starts at rest. And our time, initial time, is also equivalent to zero. And it says that 174 miles per hour is the final speed that we need to reach. And we have here 174 miles per hour, and our average acceleration is equivalent to 2.19 meters per second squared. As we can see, our final velocity and our acceleration have different units, so we need to convert either one of them so we can have similar units. Let's try to convert this final velocity. So in converting our final velocity, we need to multiply it by 1,609 meters over 1 mile because 1 mile is equivalent to 1,609 meters and to cancel the R, we need to multiply it by 1 R over 3,600 seconds because 1 R is equivalent to 3,600 seconds and what we're gonna get is 77.77 .77 meters per second because we can cancel this and this and then this and this and we're gonna have meters per second and this is our final velocity now that our units match we can now proceed to our solution so we have the formula here of average acceleration is equivalent to change in velocity over change in time Since our initial velocity and our initial time are equivalent to zero, we can already cancel this. And what we're looking for is the final time. So we're just going to derive this equation to get an equation for getting our time. And then we're going to cross multiply and we will have final time is equivalent to final velocity over acceleration. And then we, we are just going to substitute the values. Um, this units will be cancelled, so we'll have seconds remaining, and what we're gonna get is 35.51 seconds. So the time it takes for the airplane to reach a speed of 174 miles per hour is 35.51 seconds. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. For greatness in a sea of the dying